What's up guys and girls, you're going to be watching Season 3, Episode 10 of Once Upon a Time. Peter Henry is alive and well. The group is going back to Storybrooke, thinking they saved Henry. Peter Pan entered his body. So now that's going to be a whole new problem with having him in Storybrooke. Having nobody know it's Peter Pan right now. Uh, it's, it's scary. It's going to be interesting. I thought we finally defeated this kid, but no. He's still unbeatable. He's still unbeatable. Uh, and yeah, man, I'm, I'm excited for this episode. I'm excited. I'm very freaking excited. So we're going to jump into it. Uh, the full reaction to this episode and all the other ones for Once Upon a Time will be up on my Patreon page. The link will be in the description box of this video and all other videos. If you want to check that out, feel free. But if we're on YouTube, let's jump into it. And let's go. I'm glad they're finally going to be back in Storybrook. So if the name Rumpel gave you is correct. Rumpel and Bell. I need them to reunite. As quick as possible. Not even there, back. Just he. Her mind is focused solely on my man Rumpel. Yeah, you're applauding for the wrong kid there. How does it feel to finally be home? Gina. Better than I ever imagined. Gina. Better than I ever imagined. You're not welcome here. I still don't know who thought it was a good idea to bring uh, Mr. Angry Pants here. Knowing he's loyal as shit to Peter Pan. Regina. Dude, Regina needs a fucking hug. Somebody, please. They're gonna, they're gonna see their sister. This oh my god. This is all too perfect right now. This is so beautiful. I didn't believe we were all gonna make it out of that place. Well, we did. And we owe a lot of it to her. Regina they, helped save us all. Snow White, you beautiful soul. Give Regina some props, everybody. Make her feel special. Make her feel loved. Because she deserves it. After the kind of threats she made. Threats. That's all they were. I mean, for all we know, that was just bluster. She finds a way. She always finds a way. And then we will be ready. But today, it's just a threat. I'm with David. You can't sit there scared. 24-7. Go live your life. Hey, Mom. Dad. What about Felix? He's still free. What are you doing? They need to trust me. I hate how smart Peter Pan is. We won't let anything happen to you again. I promise. She's right. You need more. <laughs> this sucks. As long as this path to take. But there's only one of those paths I'm interested in. Which one's that? The well, one where you and I are together. Oh, man. <laughs> oh, man, I love it. <laughs> ah, you guys should have some babies. You okay? Yeah. I wonder who's gonna suspect what? something first. Emma's good with this sort of stuff. Maybe Regina. I don't know. I don't think they Maybe. Maybe Hook. I, I don't know. To the long haul. You've already walked out Emma once. I'm not so sure she'll let you back in. You? I freaking love a hook with everything in my being. I don't know. I... Listen, battery's back. Safe. We are. Okay, look. We're all safe. Easy Tomorrow I'm gonna be hungry. We're all fine. Peter Pan is gone. So we'll never see him again. I can't think about myself right now. Not after what Henry just went through. Henry's still going through some shit. I promise you. Absolutely not. I'm not letting my wife venture into the woods to chase a monster. At least not alone. You mean yes. power couple? Yeah, just call me tomorrow and let me know what time you want me to pick you up. Come on, Henry. Let's go. I'm so happy for Regina. But I'm also, you know. It's okay. Mad? Probably it's not Henry? It's dangerous. I'll protect you. No matter what. If Regina now, told me she was going to protect me, I know I'm in good hands and nothing will ever happen to me. I wish Regina would protect me. 
He doesn't seem like himself. He barely recognizes See, she already knows. He went through a lot in Neverland. I know, and he asked to spend the night at Regina's. Wow. Yeah. Don't she convince her. Say. And she did raise him until you came into his life. I know she did. Look, he probably wants Let to Let Emma go with her freaking gut! Reasons for pushing me toward Neil. Like what? I don't know, keeping me away from Hook. You think I'm interested in Hook? <laughs> oh my god. Uh, that was hilarious. <laughs> but David's kind of coming around to Hook a little bit. But I haven't lost my dignity. That's never gonna happen. Oh no. Who screamed? Who the heck was that? Okay, that sounded like Emma. No, but oh my god. What was that? She's gone. Why would the shadow kill her? No, I doubt I. But I do know the shadow only takes orders from one person. Oh my god! Oh, he's here. He's here. That thing is pretty. Well, alright. She's fast. Oh my goodness. He looked right into her freaking soul. Damn it! No! David, rule number one, don't look into her eyes. What does David do? He looks right, right there. You can use that gut feeling to find the shadow instead of obsessing over who's going to comfort ourselves. Regina, please, I know you're happy Henry wants to be by you, wants to be with you. Sure, you're taking me. But don't be blind to this. One place in Storybrooke the shadow can never get to. So you swear to keep. Shit. Oh. That was that was brilliant, Snow. Are you okay? Now go live your life. Enjoy yourselves. Why would I do that? We need to open it. And let Pan escape. What are you crazy? Somehow he's controlling the shadow from inside the box. Henry's life is in danger. And you think letting Pan out will change that? Yes. Yes, it will absolutely change that because it's Henry. Mom? <laughs> Mom? <laughs> what am I wearing? Why do I look like this? Mom? Oh what? shit. Oh my god. Don't. Please. I'm Henry. Pan. He switched our bodies. You expect only Henry would know. I got trapped in the mines. I tried blowing up the well. I like hot cocoa with cinnamon. This proves nothing. He's Damn right, it. Emma. Come on. That's Henry. You're not going to shoot your son. But life made you tell me that I knew why you gave me up. Why? Because you wanted to give me my best chance. I'd walk right. I'd walk him over the line. I'd hold his hand while doing it. I'm not sorry I put you in this box in the first place. It's okay. I would have done the same thing. <laughs> Honestly, Henry and Peter Pan should just switch actors right for like so long. Like have him be Henry, have the other guy be uh, Peter Pan. Still work out pretty well, I think. I was just thinking how lucky I am to have you protecting me here. Oh, Henry. I'm gonna feel so bad for Regina. Everything bad I'm always happens to her. I love you. That's why this was so easy. Damn it! Even if you didn't know why. Do not take advantage of Regina. No one. What? Nary a person. Let me find Pan. Remember, he's still in my body. So if you have to throw a fireball or something, he's still worth the face. <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. What he was saying so badly, I missed all the signs. I, I just. I wanted to believe that he still needed me to be his mother. I still do. Yes. Thank you, Henry. Thank you, real Henry. Tell her. Henry? Hug her. Love her. Thank you. What is it? What did Pan take? A curse? No, Felix. The curse. The curse that tore everyone from the enchanted forest. Oh, Got the fuck here. on. Broke me out of jail to tell me how everyone Hold got to on. This I broke you out of jail. Cause this spell 
gonna give us everything we've always wanted. No way. Want the curse. No. I already cast it, and I broke it. Well, that doesn't mean you can't cast it again. And this time, without your parents' true love woven in, even you would be powerless to break it. I don't understand. We're already in this land. What exactly? This can't happen. This can't happen. Everyone will forget who they are. Time will stand still. And Felix. There will be no savior. There's no, oh, no. Yes. And when we're done with it, it's going to be the new Neverland. You better cast that shit immediately because you're not going to get away with it. I promise you. Next episode, it's not happening. There we go, guys. Wild episode. Season 3, episode 10 of Once Upon a Time. Peter Pan and Henry's body. Everyone was sort of blind to it, especially Regina, because Peter Pan was telling her all these lies about how he needs to be with her, he loves her, he wants, he feels safe with her, he's going to protect her. Take me to your magic, I freaking need it. And Regina does. Peter Pan knocks her out. And, uh, takes, takes the spell that'll, uh, erase everyone's memories. So basically the one Regina cast said, well, Peter Pan wants to do the exact same thing where he'll be in charge instead of Regina. Him and, uh, his little freaking, not little, his tall follower, this freaking guy, I hate him so much. Uh, dude, that's crazy. That's really crazy. And I feel like he should cast it very soon or, you know, they're going to stop him. I don't see Peter Pan going through with it at all. I don't, because there, there would be no savior. I don't see how in the world they would possibly stop him uh, if, they, if it did happen. It's, just, it's crazy to think about, like, how close they are to being in charge and being completely unstoppable. Uh, Emma always had a gut feeling that something was wrong with Henry, that Henry wasn't actually Henry. And that's when they released Peter Pan from Pandora's box outside the line. And then she asked Peter Pan a few questions that would convince her that he was Henry. And it worked out. And I, I feel really bad for Regina. Well, I, I don't anymore because actual Henry told Regina that he needs her. That he loves her, gave her a hug, it was sweet. Uh, but just Peter Pan taking advantage of Regina's love for Henry. Oh, uh, it was awful. Oh, crazy. Crazy episode. Uh, it's definitely cool seeing Peter Pan and Henry switch bodies, have different actors playing different characters. Like, you go from playing Henry, like the sweetest little kid, to playing Peter Pan. It's evil. Evil mofo. Uh... It's cool, but uh, they both did very well. They both did very well with both roles. Um, and I'm, I'm very, very excited for this next episode. I think it's going to be intense, as well as it's like most of the season has been. I think there really hasn't been a dull episode this season. Uh, it's been actually incredible, and I would say uh, favorite season so far. I mean, we still have a, quite a few episodes left of this one, but... Uh, yeah, man. At this pace, this is gonna take the cake. It's gonna be my favorite season for Once Upon a Time, uh, without a doubt. If it continues at this pace, I don't, I don't know. But I'm absolutely loving the whole Peter Pan thing. Still, I feel like it hasn't played out yet. I feel like they've been going at it for a while, but I still feel like it's very interesting. They're keeping it entertaining, trying new things. Like with Peter Pan getting this curse. Uh, yeah, it's really good, guys, and I hope you enjoyed my reaction to this one. Thanks for watching. I'm out.